Hey guys, Zane here with another One Take Review, and today I wanted to talk about the new Quiet Commotion album, All Others Strange. This is the sophomore album from Swedish singer-songwriter Quiet Commotion, whose real name is Daniel Katz, and his first since last year with the record, his debut record, I should say, Hala Kara Flud. I apologize if I absolutely butchered my Swedish there, but um, thankfully this uh, record title is in English, so you won't have to hear me butcher other people's languages. Katz has been able to kind of make a very small but very loyal following since his debut last year, and this record is just a very nice continuation of his development as both an artist and a performer, as well as a songwriter. If you're familiar with Katz's debut record, then you're likely expecting All Other Strange to be sort of a lo-fi, indie, bedroom folk kind of thing, and while those influences are still there, this is much more of a indie, lo-fi, rock kind of leaning. It's not exactly the kind of thing that you're going to hear from a band like, say, Pavement or something like that, but at the same time, it is a, a slightly different direction for uh, Daniel Katz while also remaining in the same ballpark in terms of actual tone and sound, and like I said, it's not like he's totally leaving behind those mildly folksy roots. Some of the best examples of that are songs that combine that sort of slacker rock style along with a more standard acoustic singer-songwriter style like the song Bug Zapper, which is a major highlight on the record in my opinion, and considering his last EP, Static from Terrible Storm, was kind of a more dreamy, psychedelic side of his music, I think that the Quiet Commotion Project is already shaping up to be one of the most immediately diverse and intriguing projects as far as underground music goes right now. The actual compositions here are fantastic as well, and that's largely thanks to Katz's great sense of melody, which is something that was very evident on his previous two releases, but has been even more greatly improved upon on his sophomore record. And I do think that that sense of melody on some tracks, like Trish, really does kind of elevate the record to another level and makes it consistently engaging throughout its 40 minutes, when a lot of other similar albums with less of a sense of melody even with its sense of melancholy and, at times, just emotionally draining style. I think that some other albums just aren't able to capture that sort of sense of progression the same way that this record does. It's very impressive. It takes something that should not be immediately memorable, a sort of very cold, bleak style of music, and making it something that is not only memorable, but just very engaging and very personal, I guess. Ultimately, it's that sort of compositional competence that makes this record flourish, and it really just allows it to reach its maximum potential, which is something, frankly, amazing. All Other Strange is also just as lyrically strong as previous Quiet Commotion works, which is just very in general, and I do think that songs like Crows, for example, have the kind of lyrical content that other amateur singer-songwriters can only really dream of achieving, especially this early into their career. And I think the most exciting part about all of that is the fact that it is this early in Daniel Katz's career. I mean, just to think that this is the beginning of his progression of his musical career and his musical abilities, it's the fact that he's going to be continuously able to grow, and I do think that whether it's under the Quiet Commotion name or whatever other name, that Katz decides to use in the future, whatever he may uh, choose to become. I think that uh, from here on out, we're just going to see him getting better and better, at least if the level of songwriting from his debut and his EP to this record is any indication of the progression of his lyrical quality. But anyways, I do think that for the time being, this is a fantastic example of an artist that's probably way ahead of where they should be in terms of quality. And now comes the part where, as I inevitably must for this being a sort of DIY album, I have to talk about the production quality of the record. And obviously, if you've heard previous Quiet Commotion albums or albums that are similar to this album, you'll expect that this isn't the most professional sounding record in the world. It's not to say the performances aren't professional, the performance is obviously very professional sounding, especially for an underground artist, it's just that the record itself's sound isn't exactly professional in nature. While my main criticism for his last two releases was the fact that they needed just a touch more polish, 
I actually think that all other strange benefits from this sort of, I guess, rough around the edges style. I think it just makes many of the tracks here much more personal than they otherwise would be in a more cleaned up setting and just a little more genuine, which is something an album like this really truly needs and it achieves it, achieves it perfectly. This feels like a very upfront and uh, deeply personal and legitimate album. I don't know that's the perfect word to describe it, legitimate, and I do feel that the production quality and the uh, bedroom-like aspects of the record really do make All Other Strange kind of another level of lo-fi music. And that's something pretty impressive, since bedroom music in general, no matter of what genre, can easily be ruined by poor behind-the-scenes work, or lack thereof for that matter, but Daniel Katz knows exactly where he is at in terms of budget, basically, and he manages to take it to its fullest extent, and he knows how to manipulate that perfectly with songs like 1225 being examples of perfectly executed songs that wouldn't be nearly as good if they were so much more cleaned up. So overall, All the Others Strange may be the best Quiet Commotion album so far. In a sea of very talented underground singer-songwriter types, I do think uh, Daniel Katz and Quiet Commotion as a project really do stand out as something particularly striking and spectacular, and even though he may be just another indie folk artist to most for the time being, I do think that there is a legitimate possibility that time may allow at least this album to become a bit of a cult classic, if not if we're lucky, just a genuine classic in general, not even the cult added on to the front of it. But with that being said, I really love this album, and I really love how it turned out. And I'm going to give it four and a half stars out of five. It's uh, just a great, great record, fantastic songwriting, and, and I'm excited to see where the Quiet Commotion project, or whatever project Daniel Katz may involve himself in, uh, goes from here, because I think that even though he's already at a very high height in terms of quality, I still think he has the ability to go up, and he could be on his way to making a masterpiece if he continues this level of ascension in terms of greatness. And yeah, it's just a fantastic record that I do highly recommend listening to. So, four and a half stars out of five. And with that being said, that's the end of this review, and I'll see you guys in the next one.